Hello everyone, today we will be covering the details of the master module of SIPS Nitya, including academic year, department, divisions, sections, fees category, dates, districts, taluks, blood group, religion, caste, category, and student master. To get started, click on the master's module to access the dashboard. The dashboard can be fully customized. Step 1 is to create departments. Click on the department and select inline add. A dialog box will appear, allowing you to update the departments you want to create, such as primary or high school. Click the tick mark and save it. Step 2 is to create divisions. In the same dialog box, select divisions, update them and save them. Step 3 is to create sections under the divisions. Update the sections you want to add and save them. This completes the creation of departments. Next, let's move on to the fee category. If the institution wants to add a new fee category, it can be done using the inline add option. Add the category, such as general one, and save it. Other Details, such as blood group, mother tongue, state, district, taluk, working days, caste, and caste category can also be added. Please ensure that all these details are added so that there are no problems during student data updation. Now let's move on to the academic year. All academic activities, declarations, management, and updates are based on the academic year. We need to have one in-progress academic year running. The running academic year will be marked in a yellow background and only mapped academic years will be available for data updation. We need to map the available session for this academic year in sessions. All sections from the master will appear here. We need to just enable the active section of the corresponding academic year here. The academic data processing is completely based on the academic year as the basic. All data get processed based on the academic year. Hence, we need to take care of this part very seriously. To add a new year, please press on Add New button. To edit, please choose the Pencil button. There are three status columns present here. First status to declare the academic processing status. Second for the accounts status, only in progress flag academic year information will be available in the respective modules. For example, if accounts need to collect past year fees to along with current year, we have to keep both academic year in progress status. Parent app academic year indicates the data will be made available in in parent app. It is always better to keep the latest academic year in progress status to ensure they get all the latest information. Registration message indicates that when a new student register a welcome message reach to the parent if you are subscribed SMS service, the format and content of this message can be modified over PFT module notification message interface. Registration fee account is to map the registration fees account head, the permission for admission and registration is declared here. If it is selected, that means we are open for registration and admission for this academic year. This settings is required for the admission module. We can set the registration number auto-generate format here. Depends the way we declare here the registration numbers get generated. Instructions are given there, we can set this here. Also the same way we can do the admission numbers too. Sipsnitya supports 20 different fees collection with different accounting methods as well with different fee receipt headers. For an example, building fees kind of development fees normally get collected to the trust management account. Normal tuition fees etc. collection happens to the school account and transport fees get collected to a different account etc. For each cases we can have different receipts generated as well different bank accounts can be attached etc. 
So for all the enabled fees collection types, we can declare the receipt number start from here. If in case you want a different receipt number series, we can declare it here. Once all these details are done, save it. Moving on to the student master, click on it. If you want to edit any student's details, you can use the inline edit option. If any changes are required, update them. Otherwise, click on Add New. A dialog box will appear, allowing you to update all the requirements. There are many fields available here. We can use the PFT module master maintenance master field settings. Here we can enable disable the fields also can change the field label here. More detail about this already covered in another video the same link will post it over description area. Since it is already available I am not explaining it here. The complete maintenance and data arrangements, corrections etc. is explained well over that video. Data can be updated over the master. Also for bulk export and import is also available for a quick data migration. Data export gives the option to export the student master information quickly exported to a common file formats like Excel, CSV, XML etc. During the export process, we have many options like export fields etc. Import interface is very simple here. We can import directly from a saved Excel sheet or even we have just copy and paste option here. I prefer copy and paste option for a quick import. Once I paste the data, I can click next and rearrange the data columns etc. and simply import the data to the database. User is also got an option to realign the fields. They can enable and disable the fields, rearrange the field by using the mouse very easily, like from one location to another, such as moving the mobile number next to the address. That covers all the information on the master module. I hope you found today's video informative. Thank you for watching.